All right, if you notice, you'll see the bottom PVC completely separated from this panel board. Now, this could have happened from thermal expansion and contraction. Section 352.30 requires PVC conduit to be installed uh, and fastened so that the movement from thermal expansion and contraction is permitted. And there's no expansion fittings anywhere. It kind of runs down the sides. It's tucked in behind there, but... This is what can happen when uh, PVC uh, contracts. This may have been the correct length. It was installed in some nice warm weather, but you get some bitter cold temperatures in the winter like we have today. And over time, that PVC will shrink and shrink and shrink and uh, it can pull right out and separate and break connectors and break couplings. And it looks like that's what may have happened here. This is Russell Blank, NEC consultant for ECNM Magazine.